Hello, this is William Bowman. I'm making this video for Richard over at Mountain Movers uh, Landscaping. Um, so Richard, uh, thank you so much for allowing me to record this video. I want to uh, explain exactly what I found on your website, exactly what to change in order to get more of the volume that your competitors are getting on their sites. In order to do that, I want to explain some things so that you'll know exactly how to make those changes and see what changes are, and, and you actually should be able to see when those changes are working. Um, I want to show you the volume of clients looking for your services in your area, what your top online competitor is doing to win that volume, and the things you can do this exact moment on your website to start winning those clients in the future. So to start out, uh, I wanted to cover your uh, your site really quickly. So I, I really do like your site. I like the design. I like that you guys have pictures and you guys have your award section, you know, your contact pages, and the fact that you have multiple pages throughout your site. Um, I do uh, want to get into keywords. So keywords are, think of them as things that somebody would throw into Google to find your specific services. So landscaping Lubbock, that's actually a really big keyword with good volume in your area. So I kind of want to go over to what this means and kind of how to implement that here. So when you have landscaping Lubbock here, the first thing you're going to see is you're going to see ads. So ads are, you know, they're being paid for and they're paid per click. Um, I'm actually kind of glad to see that you aren't up here. A lot of clients, they just skip past the ads. Nobody wants to be advertised to, right? So they just run down and then they see the map section. And this is a good area to be. So I noticed that you are here. So that's great. Um, you already have your GMB optimized. Um, you, can, you can optimize it a little bit more to get number one, but honestly, top three is great. So then you move down and you see this is where more clients go. You know, they, they either click on the first link or if they don't want to deal with Yelp lists, which I've heard from some clients that they don't like that, um, they prefer to go to the, to the directly to the first competitor. So let's go to your competitor. It's Paradise Lawn and Landscape. And we look at their site and you see how tiny their site is. Um, so, I mean, when you're trying to compete for this first spot, one quick thing that you can do is you can put a thousand to fifteen hundred words on your front page. By doing that, that allows you to keep these keywords pumping on your front page without making it seem like it's forced and without stuffing is what they call it, without keyword stuffing. It allows you to fill in a lot of keywords and rank for a lot of keywords. But let's look and see how the under the hood looks for this specific competitor. So when we come to look at their specific site in my analytics tool, we see that they have a UR of 8, a DR of 0.3, backlinks 47, referring domains 31. Let me explain what that means. So a UR of eight, that's a URL rating. And it's basically like Google's way of saying how trustworthy this URL is. Um, the DR, this is uh, the domain rating. So this is like Google's way of saying how powerful the site is or how much reputation it has to throw around. So these aren't very good numbers, especially for being in this location on the search. Like they are on front page. These numbers are normally a lot higher. Um, so let's uh, talk about backlinks. So backlinks help you get both of these numbers. And backlinks, what they are is think about it is as if uh, you know I was writing, I was on a blog and I was writing about landscaping services. Um, and I said, you know, mountain movers, landscaping, they're the best in the area. Um, you should go give them some business, and they put your link there. That's an example of a backlink. So they have 47 backlinks coming from 31 different websites. So an average about a little bit more over than one per website. Um, but I want to show you the keywords that they're using. So how, how, what keywords are they trying to rank for in order to, uh, in order to get business? And you see that, you know, they focused on, you know, Paradise Lawn Lubbock. They're ranked, they're, they're getting up to 30 volume and they're ranked number one. Uh, landscaping Lubbock, 70 volume. Th these are volume searches a month. So that's how many times people in your specific area are searching for this exact thing every single month. So we see here, Landscaping Lubbock, Texas, that is the largest volume and they're ranked number six. So that's the importance of making sure that you're actually doing the proper keyword research and you are only trying to rank ones that have high volume. So this one, this one has decent volume, right? It has 70 volume, but the one that would be a priority would be this guy, 150 volume every single month. So then we look at Lubbock Landscape 60, Lubbock Landscaping Companies 30. You know, they have some ones that have their specific name, but you don't really want to rank for that because by the time somebody knows your specific name, why are they, you know, why do they need to search Google for that? So 
you know, now that you've kind of see that these volumes can add up, let's look at your website and see kind of what's going on at your URL. So if we, you know, I went to specifically to uh, lubbocklandscaper.com forward slash landscaping, and we see that, you know, this isn't even ranked the organic keyword that you have tree service Lubbock, Texas. So, I mean, that's a good keyword, um, but you're position 51. So you'd have to be on page, you know, five or six when you include ads in order to see this, see the site. Um, but let's look at your, your homepage just so that you can see that, um, maybe you have more keywords there. So let's pop over and okay. Yeah. You, you are ranking for the homepage a lot better. Your UR is 13 DR needs some work, which means you need some more quality backlinks. So backlinks are it's, it's quality over quantity. So with backlinks, um, I've seen three or four backlinks beat a thousand backlinks. It really does come down to the quality of the site that's actually sending you the link. Um, there's a lot of that goes into this, but, um, you know, you're not looking for number, you're looking for quality. So, you know, right now the site's getting zero people every single month coming to the site, even though you have 48 backlinks. So let's look at your organic keywords and see that, you know, you are picking words that are useful. Um, you know, maybe this one, not so much because, you know, that could be, you know, anywhere in the nation. Um, and they might not be in your service area, but these other ones, these are good ones. It's just the rank is only 53, 47, so on and so forth. So I think that you're probably getting quite a bit of traffic here in the map pack. You're probably getting a bunch of online traffic here, but if you want to start directing more people to your site so that your site's actually ranking for you as well, getting you more clients, then I would recommend getting these keywords ranked up. And the way that you do that is you have to get some good quality backlinks that way you can build up this dr and build up this ur and honestly for the first spot it's not that hard uh not to not to get not to take their spot to take their spot it's relatively easy so i hope this information had some i hope this video had some good information for you if you have any questions or if you want to hand this over to your it guy and they have any questions uh feel free they can they can give me a call i don't mind answering anything um, but i hope you have a great day sir and thank you so much Bye bye